Hello, Kafade 331. So I was working on uh, GPT integration again, uh, continuing from yesterday, and yeah, it's almost there. Uh, the setup is uh, good. Uh, it went smoother than I expected. Um, yeah, a couple of different, you know, UX tweaks that I had to do, or uh, such as like, you know, showing the notification badges uh, of how many you know, suggestions had popped up versus nothing, um, <coughs> or yeah, um, multiple integrations. Uh, so different, you know, platforms still handles it slightly different um, so I still need to test it uh, some you know overlays on top of other uh, UI uh, the UI of the native platform uh, you know everybody by now knows the Z index trick uh, you want to be on top of everybody else's uh, that happens with Grammarly as well as mine so uh, everybody's competing for each other's attention and yeah I had to like hack away by hiding forcefully of Grammarly icon uh, myself yeah but you know it's it's working uh, yeah maybe maybe this type of like you know hacking your website hacking the way how it displays on the website uh, like showing the widget etc is a little maybe outdated uh, maybe it's saturated uh, I don't think this movement can continue going uh, you know adding this multiple um, you know, embedding codes because uh, one website contains so many different, you know, uh, like gadgets or widgets uh, that improve the sites, such as like analytics, tracking, uh, you know, chat support, pop pop, um, you know, Grammarly type extension that you know checks your writing in the inbox uh, or my type of you know inbox editing. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe people prefer you know sooner or later that you know support just native websites uh, but i know uh, yeah i don't know if you know the concept of disruptive innovation and you know the tech car starts off with like everything doing by yourself uh to like slowly like become modularized uh as the tech matures and as far as like web app goes like it's really mature now and it's all about you know personalization and modular concept uh that's why inkspart is really focused on like this one aspect of link sharing uh how it handles it uh yeah so i'm not wrong i think i uh, the modular i go with better it is for now uh yeah that's the analysis of business analysis anyway so that is it um yeah, I'm gonna, you know, keep bug fixing on different platforms, not bug fixing, like supporting different testing out the uh, extension on multiple platforms and then hopefully push it out by the end of the day. All right, so see. Oh, another bug. Oh, sorry. I should just mention. Uh, yeah, this is like session missing happening, like when the when users use the API like multiple times. Uh, I tried reproducing it, but it doesn't happen. But I know it happens. Like I, it happened to me like once before or twice, and I was reported by one of the users that happened. And I don't know how it happens. Like why the session is missing? Uh, it doesn't. Like it only misses out at the API endpoint and not on the actual uh, on that specific API endpoint. But it doesn't. You know, you can still like log in with the session uh, in a normal website. So. I don't know, it might be the problem of Chrome not sending back session data, uh, I, I have no idea. So, but I, it, I need to improve on that error message, how you know users are left very confusing right now, so confused. Um, so yeah, that's that. Uh, anyway, so that is it, uh, see ya.